What's up, Fineapples? Welcome back. So today I have a fun review. Now, I usually think that some collections are kind of cheesy or silly or just already done. It's like, I hope nobody does a Barbie collection anymore. And I'm a Hello Kitty fan, but I'm kind of hoping no one else does a Hello Kitty collab. But I think that this one is super cute and I'm sure it's already been said. Maybe I haven't seen any reviews, but who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. So Wet n Wild came out with a Spongebob Squarepants collab. I thought I saw this go around Instagram. You guys, I honestly do not keep up with any collections. It's like, how do I even do videos? But they just sent this to me the other day and I thought that this was it, but I looked online and on the Wet n Wild site, it is sold out, but good news is, Alta has it. So I'm gonna try to post this video ASAP like tomorrow so that you can go ahead and take advantage in case you wanna pick anything up because Alta has it and then Alta is great because then you get points and then your points equals cash. So let's get on with it. Here I also saw on their site they sold the PR package. I also talked to one of my friends and she said she got it off of Amazon. So here it is. So thank you so much to One Wild for sending this to me. I'm gonna be very honest, even though they sent it. They have the SpongeBob makeup sponge. They have a Patrick makeup sponge right here. So cute. Oh, I was wondering where his face is. It's on the side, if you can see it. Of course, gotta have your Squidward right there. This is pretty cool. They came out with a sponge and brush cleansing pad. So I'm gonna open this up so you guys can see it. So it's basically a tool so that you can clean your makeup brushes which I haven't seen in a collab. So here's your little Krabby Patty. How cute is that? And then these, oh, okay. So it has the textured side. I was not trying to flip you off, but it has a textured side so you can take a dirty brush, put your soap right there and cleanse your brush. It has this texture right here. It kind of would have been cool if they had a little suction right here so you could suction it to your sink and then swirl it around, but that's definitely okay. And then another one right here, they're like, what's in the Krabby Patty? What do you think? It's crabs. So right here, and then here's the bottom of the bun. That is super, super cute. I kind of like how it's all separated because then say one is dirty, then you can use the other pieces. So that's pretty cool. And to go along with that, they came out with the Gary makeup cleanser. Let's smell it. Here it is, it's in blue, really, really cute. Oh, it smells nice and fresh. I don't know, like this collection to me was done so well. I personally don't think anybody else has done SpongeBob, at least I don't think. We have the flat Kabuki with SpongeBob. I'm gonna be using all these brushes as well, so you'll see them out of the package. A round Kabuki with Sandy right here. We have our own Sandy in our tree outside in our front yard. And then this one I'm super excited about, the pineapple. So this is the sponge case, so you can actually put the sponge inside of here and hold it. Whoops, there's one part. Let me show you. Here's the second part. This will definitely be going on my beauty desk because I love everything pineapple. I'm not sure how long I'll really use this because it's a little flimsy and to connect it, you gotta, okay. Now the SpongeBob highlighter looks pretty cool this gold one, but this one looks really wearable. I wonder how much glitter is really gonna pull through, so we'll see. And then the palette, you guys, it looks stunning. Like, look how pretty the packaging is on the outside. Like I said, even if you're not like a true SpongeBob fan, because I will be straight up honest with you, I'm not the biggest SpongeBob fan. I have watched it obviously in the past, and I know about the whole cartoon and all of that, but I know that there's some mega fans, but this is so adorable. Like I can hear him like squan, wah. <laughs> like it's so cute. And then they came out with two setting sprays. This one is the BFF Best Friends Forever, the Hydrating and Brightening Primer Mist. Oh, okay, so this is the Primer Mist. And then let me give it a good shake. I see little specks of illumination down there. Good thing, I'll have to shake that up, make sure. So it's gonna give you some nice, illumination and then this one is the purifying setting mist so we have a primer and a setting mist this one's called fun fun that's it super cute right here and there you go and that is everything in the collection let's get on with it so let's start off with the primer spray i'm excited for this i got it all shooken up a nice pearlescent spray so it's a primer and brightener let's see let's see the spray on it first Ooh, nice 
It's just really, really nice and fresh. I've been really into glowy skin, so I'm gonna give myself a good spray. I've already primed my face though, so I'm good. I don't have to set, like, uh, put another primer. I also already did my brows and I prepped my eyes. Okay, so now, it kind of got, it got in my mouth. It's not too strong of a scent. So I'm gonna start off with the palette. Let's open this baby up. Uh, they have the names in the back, like Mayonnaise, Sea Star, Howdy Y'all, Tartar Sauce, Square Pants, Order Up, Bikini Bottom, Aye Aye, Captain. They have all those, so super cute names. I kind of like how they don't have the names underneath the shadow. I don't know, I personally used to love to know the names, but honestly, if it's just in the back, I don't mind it. Uh, because I feel like, I don't know, none of us really, at least for me, I don't really look at names anymore. And really quick, let me just show you the little pineapple container. So whatever sponge you end up picking up, it doesn't hold like both of them unless you like shove it in, but it does fit all of them right there. Even Patrick. Let's just start with a transition. Let's go into the little, the little Krabby Patty right there and just start blending that. Is that too light for me? It might be too light. Uh, no, it's doing like a really nice natural soft blend. Let me just add it to the other side just so I can even it out. I'm excited to see how pigmented these are. Let's try this shade right here. But it looks a little bit lighter in my opinion. Okay, yeah, it is a little on the light side. Let's go into this orange. One thing I love about Wet n Wild shadows, I think they blend out really nice. Like look how fast that was. And there's barely any fallout on that orange, but this little Krabby Patty Kind of had some fallout. I definitely want to try some of these glitters. They look so fun. I think I want to go for this green because I haven't done a green in a while. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Let's do, ooh, that's pigmented. I literally barely dipped and it came. Okay, let's just try this on the lid. Ooh, this is like a really pretty emerald smoky color. Oh, it's much prettier than what I thought. I thought it was just gonna be you know, just like your average green shimmer, but it actually has some really nice reflex to it. And I love how you can really see the darkness and then it like reflects to the green. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, I'm just testing these out because I'm winging this look, per usual. But yeah, let me know what you think about this collection or if you're interested. Like I said, I think it's really cute because some are just so cheesy. Like, please, nobody do Barbie for the five million time. I just feel like if you're gonna do a collection, I don't know why, I know brands wanna like jump on it because everybody has like their own rendition of the collection, but as far as like doing it over and over and over, it's kind of overkill and I know a lot of people lose interest so quick. Okay, I'm obsessed with this emerald color. It is stunning. This would be so pretty for like a nice, gorgeous, smoky eye, but I'm just gonna keep it on the outside. Okay, I honestly don't know why I put the dark shade first to be straight up with you, but let's go into a lighter shade. Let's go into this champagne. Let's see what this does. Let's just start adding that. Ooh, that's a nice sparkle. I'm curious if these glitters at the top kind of act like ColourPop. I'm curious if they're like a little bit emollient, like the ColourPop, let me swatch. Let me see if it's just straight. Okay, it is straight dry glitter right there. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of wish it was like the ColourPop style of creamy glitter just because it like adheres to something, but this one you probably need like a glitter glue. Eight hyper pigmented eye and face pigments. So, so see, one of them's a face pigment, not necessarily an eye. In a, re, in a mix of buttery soft matte sparkling shimmers, gleaming satins, and self-adhering multi-dimensional glitter. So it's self-adhering. Okay, let's just try to soften out these edges now. So far, this palette is really pretty. I kind of regret putting on the green though with like a packed on like shadow brush. And why am I continuing to pat it? Why am I doing that? I should have just used a fluffy brush. I'm kind of curious on these glitters just to like touch it a little and then add it. Let's go into this gold one because yeah, it says self adhering. <gasps> Whoa, that's major. Let's just do a tap, 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 tap in. Okay, let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, very pretty. Wow, that looks really nice. I'm just tapping. Okay, wow. That's all I'm gonna do. I still have a lot. Um, I was just tapping, but let's see what happens when we swatch. Yeah, it's still a separated glitter. 
There we go. Now you can really see me. So what do you think? I know I have the fallout underneath because I was tapping, but overall it's not bad. I kind of have glitter all in my brows though. I'm gonna add like this shimmer on the inner corner, all of that. Man, you can make a lot of looks with this palette. A pinky look, a blue look, a green look, a more natural look, an orange look. Wow. Love it. I don't think I'm gonna do eyeliner. I've been trying to stay away because I feel like I always do eyeliner. This is just the L'Oreal Lash Paradise in waterproof and I'm just gonna add some lashes just so I don't take away from the glitter. And like I said, I wanna get away from always doing eyeliner. I, well, I went to go curl my lash and it came off with my curler so I can put them together. But you know what? I think it was just meant to be to take these off because I honestly wasn't feeling them. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this more fluffy lash because this one was looking a little busted. I mean, I don't know, it just kind of looks funny. I think it's just, it needs to just be tossed, but okay, let's switch up the lashes. Sometimes that happens. Went ahead and put on my foundation and I totally forgot I had all these sponges to work with. So I'm gonna go to the under eye concealer. I went ahead and did my, um, I, <laughs> okay, so now let's go into concealer with the Patrick sponge right there. His, here's his little face. So cute. Okay, I think this one, <laughs> I don't know the shape is, ooh. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and push this underneath the eye. Right there. The shape is perfect though. Like it literally fits right in the corner of my eye perfectly. They have the SpongeBob one. That one's great for all over obviously. And then this one I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this is the best one for underneath the eye. This one might be good for just foundation. To me, this is probably like the best sponge though because then you can use this end for the foundation. This for concealer or for cream contour, it'd be perfect. Little SpongeBob to set underneath my eyes, right there. Oh, it's gonna be like perfect for setting powder. I don't personally bake, so once I place this, I just wipe it off right away. But this one's gonna be good, especially if you like to cut your bronzer, just so it doesn't, so it looks more sharp. Let me brush this away. I'm gonna use the Sandy brush. This is so cute. Oh, really nice and soft. The handle or whatever, it's actually not as awkward as I thought it would be, and I like how it sits flat. So that's always good. Okay, now let's use this and swirl the powder all over my face. Maybelline Superstay, I can't get away from it. I haven't found one that I love completely. So let's just swirl this all around. I feel like the bristles on this could be a little bit softer. They're not terrible but I feel like you have to push the powder on this brush. Are you interested in this collection or it's just like another pass? I'm just happy because these products are all affordable and they're not like hiked up and it's not crazy priced because sometimes these brands be getting bold and it's like, you know, people are gonna say honest reviews, hopefully. Now I got this out of my collection. I remember using this Sunset Strip Tease and I broke it because I dropped it. So now I have a new one in my backup drawer. So I'm just gonna use this just to help bronze my face. I remember loving this bronzer just because it was like very effortless. It reminds me of like the Maybelline City bronzer, but obviously a little bit cheaper, which I have hit pen on that and I know it's gonna be done very soon. So excited to use this now. I'm kind of happy they didn't put any lip products because I feel like every collection always has a lippy and everybody just goes for the lippies, but how many sets of lips do we have? Don't answer that but you know what I mean, on my on your face. <laughs> how many lips do you have? One, so I mean, how many lippies can we get? I had to stop myself from buying lip products and I organized all my lippies. I mean, I haven't shown you, but I can do like a little, mm, I don't know if I wanna do a beauty tour because my room's a little messy because I'm in the middle of trying to figure it out. Uh, let's just go like this, get the powder going. Make it a little bit more sharp. Like I got very defined cheekbones. I mean, I do have very defined cheekbones. See? <laughs> I'm gonna bring it back to one of my old favorites, Mellow Wine. I was obsessed with this blush, like obsessed. And it's still very beautiful. I used to use this all the time because it's such a good one. It honestly just applies so beautifully. It's a perfect shade. I don't know, it's just like what, I need to start using this again. I feel like I've been neglecting it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm horrible. 
Okay, so now I have this and I was gonna use this for highlight. I don't know, do you guys ever use like a fan brush or anything like that for highlight? Where's the highlight? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do a swatch first, just to see what it looks like. I'm sure it looks pretty, but I don't know how much glitter is in this. Look at his little face right there. And then here's the brush. So hopefully there's not too much glitter. I'm still not done with my eyes, so don't worry. I didn't forget about that, but I just wanna like get into it because I'm excited. Okay, let's dip in and it ruins the whole look. <laughs> you know, when you get into those last steps and you're like, why did I do that? Just kidding, I'm sure this one's fine. Why am I posing like this? It's because I wanna do a thumbnail. So I'm like low key trying to put it on and also a thumbnail. Okay. Oh, it's not bad. There is, I don't know if I would use this brush though to apply it, Okay, wait. Yeah, I don't, hold on. <laughs> I don't know if I would use this brush. Let's get a fluffier brush to blend this out. I think I just applied it a little bit too harsh. It's a lightning streak. Let's definitely blend the nose. I <laughs> remember in the last video, I, or the last makeup video I did with the Essence Powder. Oh my gosh. If you guys haven't seen that video, I did have so much fun filming it, so thank you guys for loving it. And some of you commented saying like, I'm a breath of fresh air and all that. And I really appreciate that honestly, because I feel like on YouTube, I don't know where I stand. <laughs> like, I don't know what category I, f I fit in, but I'm like in the Lizzie category. I just like to do me. I honestly do. I don't wanna, I don't know, I, I, I do me. You do you, that's how it goes. And I always say, I cannot live a lie. Like it must be so hard to like keep up a persona that you that you aren't, you know, or or you try to pretend like you're something that you're not. I could never do that. That is mentally exhausting. And then when you meet people and they're like, oh, what? You're like, not even how you, why am I using this again? I blunted this out for a reason. But I just wanna say thank you for enjoying my personality, honestly, because I know I'm very different than the standard uh, beauty vlogger, whatever you want to call it. I am. I'm, I'm definitely different. I don't care if I show my face like with no filter. Uh, I, I don't. I, I really have no Fs given straight up. I'm just going to be very honest. I just like to live my life, be positive, And that's all I want, honestly. So let's go into this one. Ooh, I love the little flowers. So cute. This palette is great, you guys. I'm excited for this one. Okay, so now let's just hit that inner corner. <gasps> Whoa, that's really nice and bright. This is exactly what I needed in my life. I love a bright inner corner. You guys know this. I love the glow, especially if you use something so dark, I feel like it makes your eye so small. So you need like that pop, which is why I didn't want to do wing liner because then my eyes get so small, you can't even see them. And then the eyeliner covers up all the shadow and it's just, it's just too much. I like this because it opens up the eye, doesn't make them enclosed or just look too much because sometimes some eyes can look so heavy and I feel like it makes the face look, mm, I don't know how to describe it, like even more tired, even though you have all this makeup on. I feel like this awakens your eyes. It awakens your soul. <laughs> no idea what the hell I'm talking about. This brown shade right here, or is that a brown or like a, yeah, it's a brown. And we're just gonna hit the bottom lash line very lightly because I don't really like lining my bottom lash line all the way. That's why the last one, when I lined it and smudged it and smoked it out, I was like, all right, let's just do the waterline too because now it looks kind of off if I don't. I haven't used this Lash Paradise in a while. I still need to get the, bet. what is it? I keep forgetting the name of it and I keep suggesting it in the videos. The Big Bad Lash from Revlon. I wanna get it in waterproof though. I like this um, eyeshadow. I feel like it brings out the brown in my eyes. In person, they probably look super dark brown because of all of the crap I put on my face, but when you look at them, they're actually like a mid-tone brown. Like they have like some light to them, and I really like them, and I feel like these kind of greens and everything bring them out. So, okay, lippy. Do I have a new lippy from someone? I don't know, let me check. Okay, I don't, but I'm gonna use my Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It's probably one of my favorite drugstore lippies because it actually has color to it. It doesn't go on like transparent and they're so moisturizing. The only thing is that it's kind of like a bee when you wear a mask because obviously it's a gloss, but they're just so nice. I think this is Maybelline's top lip product ever, but this one's in the shade Reef. Love this one. Look at it, it's perfect. Okay, so now let's do the final spray. The final spray. 
I really like how the look came out. I'm not gonna lie, every time I do my makeup on camera, one, I don't plan out my videos, two, I, I just don't. I can't script anything. I can't have like inspo because when I have inspo, then it looks nothing like the makeup look that I saw or got inspired by. I just go with the flow, obviously, hence me starting with the green emerald shade on the outside like a raccoon. <laughs> but let's go into this. Let's see the spray on this. I always get scared. I like to spray it first and because the first spray, did you see that? It was like, and I don't want that on my face. I want the, the mist. Ooh, kind of a strong, fresh scent. A little strong though, I'm not gonna lie. Then my handy dandy fan that I'm obsessed with. It's great. Okay, and let's see the final look. I absolutely love it. I love the way how it turned out. I think the glitter is honestly so beautiful. I think I wanna do like a look on Instagram with this because it is stunning. Like look, it's so pretty. You can do so many different combinations. As for the sponges, I think they're really good. I will say, I, uh, even though I'm a biased person when it comes to pineapples, this is probably my least favorite product in the collection. I was excited when I first saw it because I just saw, you know, the cute little who lives on pineapple under the sea, little house, the pineapple house, kind of pointless, this one. But I will say, I think the sprays are really nice. I think that I like the illumination a little bit better because it will give a nice glow. And this isn't something that you can't spray on after. I mean, come on now. It's a really nice one. So it's gonna give that illumination. Um, this one is a little strong in scent. Overall though, I think the sponges are really great, but my favorite, where is he? Where's Patrick? Patrick, where are you? Where'd you go? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like, I've literally just sit, been sitting here the whole time. I mean, did, did he fall? Out of all the sponges, I have to say, I think Patrick is probably going to be the most utilized one because it fits perfectly underneath the eye. You can use a little butt end for foundation. I think this one is great to bake underneath the eyes or also cut that bronzer. Squidward is probably the most awkward shaped one, I would say. And then this one is cute. I don't think Sandy is necessary. Um, it was nice to like kind of buff, but I feel like you have to push the powder as opposed to buff because the more I feel like it might swipe away your foundation and move it. My favorite though, and I'm actually surprised by this highlighter. It's really pretty. It's a really nice glow and it, there's no glitter because it's a really beautiful gold. Something you could totally work with. And then the palette, astonishing. I love it. Probably one of the best collections done out of all of them. I'm not gonna demonstrate it, but Smells really nice and fresh, and I can let you know in my May favorites if I like it, if it's a whoop or a womp, I'll test it then, yeah? Sound good? All right, guys, I'm gonna get going. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, leave me some love down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah! Whoop, whoop.